you go that way? That's the wrong way, dude. Oh. What the? Look at this. Look at the way this guy parked up here. Nobody can get out. Nice job. <laughs> Now everybody has to go the wrong way through the parking lot. Why hello there everyone, Jared here with Why Do The Nations Rage, long time, no vlog. I don't do very many of these vlogs on Why Do The Nations Rage, I've actually kind of somewhat turned Faith For Freight into a vlogging channel at this point because I'm no longer driving a tractor trailer. Um, I won't spill any of the details onto this channel though about my, my job and whatnot, except to tell you that I obviously, you know, what I just said, I'm not driving a tractor trailer anymore. So therefore, things have changed with this channel as well that affects this channel greatly this is my main channel uh, I know it's kind of hard to you know see that this channel is my main channel but this is actually my original YouTube channel the one that I started out with four and a half years ago and well I just want to make a vlog today like I said, I don't normally do this. I don't normally make vlogs unless I have an announcement or important news or anything else to uh, share with people. And I feel like now's a good time to, to do this. First of all, I would like, I'd actually like to start out with saying welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I always encourage comments and facts, you know. If you don't mind, or if you would like to, or if you even watch this video, uh, it would be interesting for me to know how you found my channel or what made you subscribe to begin with because I have gotten a I mean not not a whole lot of subscribers but I have been getting subscribers more frequently here lately where you know I'll get maybe a handful each month and I think it's because people are finding my older videos and watching them and liking what they see so it makes them want to subscribe to the channel but what I want to know is which videos are people watching? Like, what video did you find? What was the very first Watt of the Nation's Rage video that you watched? Leave a comment, please. Share. So that I will know, you know, what I did right, what I did wrong, and what I need to do to keep you sticking around. Uh, so that you are interested in the channel. And, you know, so that you don't regret subscribing or feel like you wasted your time or you know, just subscribe for one video and never watch any more of my videos. The, the upside and the downside to this channel is that I have a very, very broad variety of subject matter that I create for the channel itself. And with that being said just let me know let me know which video you watched was it was it about withdrawal was it about you know repairing a uh, certain component on a vehicle was it did it have to do with PC did it have to do with urban exploration type stuff did it have to do with something historical um, was it a cemetery video was it a vacation review 
I do all that stuff. It's been a while since I've done some of that stuff. And that's for obvious reasons, if I have to say it again. It's because I became a truck driver almost three years ago. I started working over the road. I stayed over the road for nearly two years. And then I went local. And when I went local, I actually had less time to make videos for this channel than I did when I was over the road. And I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's the truth. Um, but it, however, if you do or don't follow Faith for Freight, like I said, I'm not doing that anymore. I actually work a local job. I work 40 hours a week now. I get evenings off. I work first shift. I work, like I said, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. So I have time, once again, to add to this channel, and that's kind of exciting to me. And the fact that I'm getting new subscribers is also exciting to me. Um, another thing that I've done recently is I've just recently added uh, something completely new that I've never even done before. Uh, about a month ago, I started making gaming videos, and that's exclusively what I've done for the past month is put out gaming videos and they haven't gotten a lot of views and I didn't really expect them to but I wanted to try something different I, I do like playing video games and I always wanted to, to try to make YouTube videos like let's play videos or reviews or tutorials or anything like that having to do with video games I know that the majority of my subscribers probably aren't interested uh, so much in video games and that's not why you subscribe to my channel and I, I get that, I understand that. I'm not saying that I'm no longer going to continue to make those other types of videos that drew your interest to begin with. With the exception of the, the withdrawal video because that was like a one time thing and this channel has absolutely nothing to do with opiate withdrawal or anything like that. I just so happened to be going through that at that particular point in my life. So I wanted to make a video about it and it turns out that the video is one of the highest viewed videos on my channel, which makes sense because of the, uh, the subject matter of the video and the fact that there are so many people that go through what I happen to be going through at that point. So, other than that, I, I didn't really want to take too much of your time up. I just wanted to say welcome. I wanted to uh, kind of cast my net out there for comments or feedback and say how much or, or express how much I truly do appreciate the comments that people leave. I, I, I read all the comments. I try to reply to them as quickly as I can. If it's something that I feel like I should reply to, if it's a question or a compliment or anything else, I always reply and I always appreciate the comments. Sometimes I do get kind of busy and it takes a while for me to reply. But I try to reply to, to all the comments that I get on a regular basis. So if you have any feedback or you have any suggestions or you have you know, any thing that you wanna share, I'm, I'm all ears and I appreciate it. Sorry, I was trying to get that guy off my butt. He's been following me ever since Porterdale. <laughs> like all up on my butt too. Uh, what you saw at the beginning of this video, I was leaving the, the tag office in Covington, the city that I live in, Covington, Georgia. Uh, just recently bought a new car and 
I've been fighting for the past couple of weeks uh, for the dealership to hurry up and get my title transferred so I could get a tag. I finally got one today. Uh, so that was good. It's a good thing. Uh, I guess I can give you some, some updates and talk a little bit about life in general, my life. Um, I, I kind of get, I kind of get kind of thrown off when I'm doing these vlog videos. I'm not, I, I'm trying to judge whether or not I should share things with people. Like I said, I kind of do that on Faith for Freight, and I haven't been doing that at all on One of the Nation's Rage, but before Faith for Freight existed, I did vlogs on a regular basis on One of the Nation's Rage. So, I don't know, what do you, what, what do you guys prefer? What do you think? Do you, do you like vlog videos? Do you think I should do more vlog videos? Uh, do you think I should share on a regular basis? I'm thinking probably not because not very many people are going to be interested to hear details about my life and whatnot probably more interested in well I don't know what you're interested in because I'm waiting for you to comment so please please leave a comment and let me know like I said what made you subscribe to this channel what did you like about it what has kept you subscribed to this channel have you checked out my library of videos I have quite a bit of videos and like I said before I, I cover a broad array of subjects on this channel and I've done lots of different things but there's other stuff that I haven't done that you know I've also considered doing and adding to everything else that I've already done I've been on YouTube for like I said four and a half years uh, that's a very That's a, that's a good amount of time. Uh, you know, back when I started, I, did, I never really grew that much. I never really got that popular. I never cared about that, and I still really don't care about being popular. But I did want always want to connect with people. That was one of the things that meant a lot to me, is if I could connect with people. You know, get to know people, share common interests with people, and utilize YouTube and broadcast myself on YouTube. I know that YouTube isn't really about that these days, unfortunately. But yeah, that's that's kind of the general idea of what I was going for from the get-go with my channel. And I also wanted to help people if I could share information or, or you know just common knowledge or uh, give specific tutorials on how to do certain things that that I happen to know how to do and you'll find all that on my channel if you look so if you are interested and you haven't checked out my library you should do that I my videos go back years and years and you know not all of them are great not all of them are entertaining some of them are much better than others but yeah check it out another tradition that I like to do is make videos driving down this road by now well the people that were always subscribed they they probably recognize this road or you know if anybody is subscribed that lives in the same area that I live in recognizes this road then that's awesome but I hadn't been out here in a while and I figured you know why not come out here and make a video I know this video is kind of long uh, and I already said I didn't want to take up any more of your time, so 
I've already pretty much said what I wanted to say. I just uh, am kind of going, <laughs> kind of winging it right now and prolonging the video, but th that's all right, right? Is that okay? I, I don't make very many videos, so. Consider this just a random vlog of me shooting around the corner some <laughs> in my car on a dirt road. Having fun connecting again with my viewers, saying hello, happy spring, hope you're enjoying the season so far before it gets too hot outside. And yeah, I, another thing I want to say is that, that I want to take advantage of this time period where I, I have this particular job, and so I have more time than I used to have to do things and add to my channel. And that's why I'm asking you to leave the comments and specifically tell me what you want to see. Like what, what in particular do you want to see? What would you like to see on the channel? Would you like to see things that I've already done? Would you like to see new things? Give me your feedback. Woo! That was a good one. <laughs> and I'll consider it. I think they just laid down some fresh gravel on this road, so it's super slippery. getting super dirty too. I have to show it to you when I get back to the house. <laughs> six months later and by that point I had a crappy 1080 cell phone camera the, the, the camera was still crappy but at least it was an HD and that video I, the first one I was talking about is called uh, I think it's called Thrasher Salmon Family Cemetery and then the second one 
was called Hanging Out with Jared, I believe. Those are old videos from years and years and years ago. But if you want to see what that cemetery looks like, then check those videos out. best thing about this car it's a it's a 2012 Ford Focus SEL hatchback and the handling is great it's only a 2.0 so it's not fast at all <laughs> it's pretty slow but the handling is awesome in this car I love it man I've got a lot of th look at my back window can you even see it it's like covered in dirt yeah like I said I'll show you guys the car when I get back home <laughs> and give it a little rinse off and I'll put my tag on my car I still haven't done that uh, but anyway yeah this the thing that makes this car so fun is that it's like a hot hatch and the, the wheelbase is small or short so the handling is really good it's very precise and sharp and I like that this is actually the first hatchback I've ever owned like I said, it's only a 2.0. Uh, it would have been awesome to get, like, I don't think they had the RS Focus back in 2012, at least not in the United States. They always had it in Europe, but not over here. Um, I think they're coming out with the RS in America, which is awesome. But I think before that, they had the ST. And I, I'm not sure if that one is turbocharged or not, but yeah. I, I think there's something about it that makes it quicker than the standard Focus. Maybe it has a bigger engine or something, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can upgrade this car. It'd be awesome if it had a turbo in it. I, I think another hatchback with a 2.0 is the Volkswagen Golf. And I know that the GTI Golf has a turbo so I don't see why Focus wouldn't have one in one of their models yeah that's something that, that's another thing I, I'd like to do in the future as far as adding content to the channel it would be awesome to uh, to upgrade this car and turn it into like a project car and just have it on the channel you know at the same time I'll keep doing vacation reviews. Uh, I'll keep doing stuff like that. I'll, I'll keep... Uh, here's what I want to do in the future. I want to plan to make videos, adventure videos again, like where I'm going to different locations. I want to I want to uh, start doing that again. I haven't made any of those in quite some time. And now that I have the free time, once again, I'd like to start doing that again. Maybe not on a regular basis, but every now and then, just post a video of a new location. Um, at the same time, I gotta be careful with that because my first year on YouTube, I almost got into some pretty deep crap, <laughs> some deep trouble doing that. So I gotta be careful with where I go and what I show when it comes to the urban exploration type stuff. Um, I want to continue to do videos of my family because that's another big thing that this channel is, is it's, it's almost like a, uh, a video album of family memories and that's another reason why it's probably not that popular is because not many people care <laughs> unless you're part of my family which makes total sense but I'm going to continue to do these family videos uh, I've thought about doing uh, review videos for specific things I'll continue to do the gaming videos when I have a chance to do it I, I 
I didn't put any out this past weekend because I was too busy. And I'm probably going to be too busy this weekend to make any gaming videos because it's Easter. And I'm a Christian. And so it's a, it is a important weekend out of the year for me. Um, so probably not this weekend either, but I am going to get back to the gaming videos. If you, if you watch the gaming videos and you're into that kind of thing, you're into simulation gaming, that's the kind of gaming that I like. That's primarily what I planned on doing was mainly simulation stuff. Uh, I might do some other things though. Uh, we'll just have to see. But if you did watch those and you liked them, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any advice or tips to give me that you might that you think might make the gaming videos better let me know I know they're, they're running kind of long and I don't want them to be that long uh, I would like to shorten them so I'm going to have to hone in on editing my editing skill when it comes to making gaming videos for sure so I apologize that the first ones I made were so long and I don't plan on continuing to make them that long I'd like to shorten them However, at the same time, the channel's not going to be a like a daily gaming channel. I'm not going to upload videos, gaming videos on a daily basis. I just don't have time to do that. But in my spare time, when I'm able to, I'll do the gaming videos. So they might be a little bit longer than your average gaming video on YouTube because they're not going to be as frequent. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I'll I'll say this, and then I'll let you guys go. I know the video's gone on for too long now, way too long. Um, but if you have watched at this point, thank you. Like I said, comment. And <clears throat> I'll let you guys go with this. I like where my channel stands at this point. I, I, I like the direction that it's going in. I like the fact that there's been growth it's, it's not dormant. I know that my frequency of adding fresh content is not great with the videos themselves. I want to improve with that. I, I want to uh, do it more frequently than I have been doing it. I'd like to become uh, more active when it comes to creating content on YouTube. It's not going to be as frequent as it was before I went back to work uh, three years ago after I was on workers comp. Those, those of you that remember that, if you were around to see that when it happened. But uh, I do want to come back to a certain degree, and I'm going to try to make content more frequently. And I'm not going to do vlogs. I'm not going to do what I'm doing right now. I'm not going to do it very often. But like I said, if there's something important that comes up, any news that I want to share with people, anything that I want to let you know about, something for you to look forward to so that you know what's coming, then I'll make a vlog. Actually, the last vlog I made was back in November. It was a live vlog. Where I was letting you guys know that we were about to go to North Carolina and I was going to make another vacation review type video and that's what I did. So I'm only going to do these vlogs when something, when I have something important to announce. Uh, other than that, I'll, like I said, I'll let you guys go now. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for commenting the people that have commented, I, I really appreciate your comment. Um, continue to comment. Continue to leave feedback. Continue to leave advice. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. So on and so forth. Jared here, signing out with One of the Nation's Rage. Later.